Hey there everybody, welcome along to my channel, welcome along to my playthrough of the remake of Resident Evil 2. Um, I don't know if you could tell it in my voice, you may not be able to, I don't know. I'm absolutely bricking it, <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite funny, I, I actually suffer, I think if you've watched any of my videos, I've talked about it previously, I suffer with anxiety and yeah, at the moment it's kicking in a little bit, <laughs> I can't be honest. Uh, I've completed Resident Evil 2. I, I did it in the day, you know, when it first came out. Hang on a second, I'm just going to see. I don't think I want subtitles on. Um, or do I do that for the playthrough? Don't usually like subtitles. I'll keep them on, just in case anyone's hard to understand. Well, we'll for the first hour, I'll keep them on, and we'll see. Yeah, I think everything else is okay. Yes. Yeah, I completed Resident Evil 2 back in the day when... Uh, when it first came out and yeah since then I've played it a couple more times and completed it again I, I, last year I played through all the Resident Evil games again and I'm just gonna adapt this there we go I think that's probably I don't want it too dark <laughs> yeah I played through the uh, Resident Evil games completed it again so you know I'm familiar with the game I'm not going to do the RE net thing for now. I'll leave that. This is all my special costumes I've downloaded um, because I've got the deluxe version. I don't know if that means I can change deluxe weapons added in the in game item box. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I've got the original soundtrack swap as well, which I can do, and um, which I might do a separate play, uh, playthrough for, or I might consider doing it for maybe Claire's playthrough or something. I'm going to start with Leon's. Uh, I think that's the way that most people play the game. Um, usually, I think. Uh, obviously, it, I might do a reverse then and play Claire first and Leon second. I don't know if there's any changes if you play it that way. I've got a feeling from the reviews I've read that there might be. So we'll see. Uh, for this playthrough, I'm going to play for an hour, um, roughly, per part. Um, reportedly, it's around about seven and a half hours for the game. But I always take longer because I don't rush the puzzles. I don't rush through anything. So... I will probably take a little bit longer to complete the game. And I think we'll start with... Actually, have they got their original costumes? Do they start with those? Oh, normal outfits. Well, they look like the original ones, yeah. See, I've got some unlocked ones here. They're a bit funky, aren't they? But no, I've got to have the normal outfits, I think. Yeah, we'll just back up there, I think. Right, okay. <clears throat> and there's no way I'm going anything other than... I'll go standard. I'm not going to go assisted. I'm absolutely shitting myself for when uh, Mr. X first appears on the screen. <laughs> I didn't know that he appeared in Leon's playthrough, but I saw a demo the other day and he does. For those of you who don't know who Mr. X is, he's a bit scary. I'll go shut up now. About to say, you know, she dead, but yeah, she was probably already dead before he hit her. If you know what I mean? What 
turned around would be a good idea. Oh dear. There we are. Here's Leon. hard to believe this game is Resident Evil 2 to be honest when you're used to the old version but it's awesome already no one's around Already feeling my anxiety levels rising. <laughs> well, looks like I'm about to play. Okay, yep. Yeah. Explore your surroundings. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Is there a gun I can take in here? No? Okay, thank you. I just noticed actually I've got the casual gear on. I hope that doesn't mean I did change the costumes because I really don't I want to play the originals. Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. Oh. Something's not right. <laughs> no. No, it's not right. I think we should go. <laughs> Please. Oh dear. No, I don't like that noise. There's just something so eerie about playing a game with a flashlight. I always used to have this problem in Doom 3. Uh, in fact, subsequently I've never completed it. Is it coming from in here? Oh, I can't open the door. You alright? Oh. Thank Don't you. Move. I'll be back for you. Goodness me. Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. Hey! Hey, stars, you mean to go off? Ah oh, yes, we've seen this zombie quite a few times in the trailer. Freeze! I'll shoot! What the? Damn it! Come on, motherfucker, headshot. Right. Now, in the original Resident Evil game you get a pool of blood. There's no pool of blood, which leaves me a little bit suspicious. Are you dead? Well, he has no head, so I'm assuming that he is. I didn't realise we were going to go so quickly into the game. Let's have a look. What have we got here? No one key. I've only got five bullets left as well. I hope there's not another zombie. I could be in trouble. I knew he was going to get up. This can't be. Damn it! One bullet left now. Uh, let's run. Please, God, this other bloke's not turned into one now. Hey, what are you doing? Right, he's trapped me. Thank you. How do I get out of here then? I didn't actually see another door. I can't believe I've got to go back in here again. You better not be awake again, mate. Okay, here we go. So, use the key. Oh, that came out of the controller. <laughs> 
Oh, there is another one. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to go this way because I don't have any bullets. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, Claire, thank you. That. So, cutscene Leon can one shot the zombies, but I can't. That's not very fair, is it? You alright? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Holy shit. Uh, please God, let this be a cutscene because I have not got the ammo. Come on! Get in! Hold on. Some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. You live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. <laughs> You've got no idea, mate. <laughs> Just me, or is Claire Redfield looking fine? Oh, here we go, so now we got the start in. Yeah, my anxiety prevented me for years from completing these games. Um, I watched a series on GameSpot, I don't know if any of you are aware of it, Resident Can Evil. Um, I, I stumbled upon it when I was looking at buying number seven. They were playing seven at the time. And they what they do is play through the whole series of Resident Evil games, starting at the, Z uh, the one number one remake and playing all the numbered ones and uh, yeah I went back to the beginning watched them play it gave me enough confidence that I then played through all the games myself I'd only ever completed two and th uh, two three and four before I started now I finished one or remake two three four five six seven um, Revelations 1 and I'm halfway through Revelations 2 so I've almost got the whole set I'm going to shut up again now due to the city wide outbreak you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need god this is so unreal police station is not much farther they'll know something yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Wow, Raccoon City's looking good. Looks like we're walking from here. Oh. <laughs> More like running. Jeez. The worst thing for me on this is I'm playing it on headphones, so, so <laughs> the sounds kind of intensified. Oh, it's a man from the beginning. There, get out. Get out now. Hold on. It's kind of cool to have the backstory because in the original Resident Evil 2, if you remember, you just start with a blaze and a car crash and zombies around it. There is a bit of a, a scene at the beginning, to be fair, but not quite in this much detail. Certainly you don't see like a lorry driver getting attacked and, you know, then meeting at the gas station and everything else. 
From what I can recall, anyway. Claire! Claire, you okay? I've been better. <laughs> Can't stay here, it's not safe. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. I'll be there. Oh my god. Ah, okay, this is right. out of control. <laughs> hey, stopping for no one. Um, oh dear, where do I go? Can I get over that? No, I can't. Oh dear. This way. Yeah, it looks like it. Shit. It's everybody. There it is. The station. Oh, you poor fool. You think you're safe in here. Oh, no. Yeah, that's it. Lock the gate behind you. What about Claire? Maybe if I can... Resident Evil game, it always pays to explore. But I... You see, I get the venue and get jump scared through that at some point. You can see it's my first playthrough. <laughs> All my trophies are going to pop. I was hoping to find some bullets, but... Okay, well, it's worth a look. Here we go, the big reveal, the police station. Oh, wow. Uh, when you see this iconic hallway, suddenly you are transported back to the original game. Hello? Is anybody here? Oh, that's very Resident Evil 7. Yeah, I need a knife. I don't know if you if played Resident Evil 7, the beginning. There's a taped up box. That reminds me of that very much. Oh, something there, what have we got? First aid spray. A classic Resident Evil item. Uh, keep out. Yeah, um, okay, I'm down with that. Uh, I don't think I want to pull that just yet. Just in case. And have a little look around first. See what we can see. Please got bullets with a bit of luck. Oh, there's an item chest, there we go. Now I can change weapon here because... Um, actually I don't know if I can because I'm not obviously any of those. I don't know. Let's see. Fifteen shot capacity on that one. Smaller slide. What's Chris's? Eased accuracy, uh, increased accuracy and ease of use. Actually, I've got, have I got to unload that gun? I'll keep that actually in there for now because I'm not sure about bullets. I want to take the. I'd have to take Wesker's gun or. Robust performance. Is robust performance better than? Increased accuracy and ease of use. Hmm. Oh, we'll go with Chris's gun. Obviously, once that clip is empty, I'll uh, I'll switch over. Oh, I'll type right. Oh, bullets. There we go. Thank goodness for that. So now, if I oh, I can't come. Oh, I'll just put them in there for now. Damage health monitor. Well, we, we all know that, don't we? Well, actually, I didn't know where the health monitor was located, to tell you the truth. Bottom left corner is slightly different from normal Resident Evil. There we go. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Right, so I want to combine. Oh, it doesn't take normal handgun bullets. 
What bullets does that take then? Oh. Surely that's reload. I'm actually confused now. Because in all Resident Evil games, you do that, you combine. Okay, there must be a reload button then, I'm guessing. If I equip that. There we go, and then reload. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Uh, I'm still going to keep the other gun because it's got a bullet, and you never know. Bullets are valuable in this game. Um, I'm assuming I need ink ribbons. Oh, maybe you don't need ink ribbons in this game. Well, that's cool. Excuse me at the moment. <coughs> I've got a bit of a terrible cold at the moment, so bear with me. Hopefully I won't cough too much through the playthrough. All right, where are we going? Let's have a look at the computer. Now, this is like the original. You've got to use it to open up a door. There has to be someone here. Yeah, for the moment, there is. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Okay. Yeah, we get the feeling I'm gonna be reinforcements. I gotta find that guy. Okay. This looks like this is gonna be the map screen's useful for more than your current location surroundings. You can also shape any points of interest and items you found haven't picked up. Oh that's handy. Alright, so, watchman's room's glowing for some reason. Was that where he was? I think it was. Um, so, looks like i got to get through the shutter. So, maybe I will have to press that button then. Well, I'm going to carry on looking around here just for the beginning, because I really need to find as many things as possible. Hopefully bullets somewhere. That's the puzzle I remember. Yep, you have to put the um, medals in there. I think they're medals. I think that's what they call them. Mm, nothing there. I haven't found any health items yet. Looks like another puzzle. I think that might be a new one. I don't remember that one. Okay, don't like noises like that. Oh, this must be, yeah, the upstairs part. It's slightly more complicated to get to this before. Oh, that looks like it's got a spade on it. Is that right? It's a spade door. Yeah, that's going to need a spade key. Got anything for me? Bullets, please. Yes. It's pretty cool actually, you don't have to combine the bullets now, you just press the square button to reload, that's it's probably a bit easier to be fair, rather than having to go into your inventory all the time. And I'm, got to, I'm trying to decide on a, a zombie killing strategy in my head. Is that going to be a green herb? That's too big for a green herb surely, yeah. Because um, I know in this game you can dismember them, so you can shoot them in the legs um, to knock them over and stuff. I don't know whether it's like better to go for the headshot kill. Oh, there's a door I can probably get into. Um, or whether to just try and slow them down a bit. Because it kind of depends how much ammo you're going to get in this game. And I've heard it's not going to be a lot, so... Oh, dear. Oh, this looks like a bit of a safe area. There we go, there's a green herb. Oh, lifeblood. Anything else for me? Got first note by looks of things. Uh, welcome to Raccoon City, yeah. What a welcome. Yep, 
Yeah, now I've heard whispers again in this game. Um, if you don't want a spoiler, then don't listen to the next few seconds. But yeah, I've heard that there is a brand new level in this called the Orphanage, which you play as Sherry Birkin, if I'm not mistaken, but that's not until Jill's campaign. So um, anyone who's familiar with the original, that will be a brand new area. Spoilers over. You can return. I guess that's just cluing you in on that. And I think I can get, oh, I can get behind the desk. Oh, it's a safe. Oh, I'm going to get that combo at some point, I would imagine. See, now if this is where I think it is, I'm sure we're heading towards the liquor hallway, which is not good. Oh, it's just a spade on the door again. So I can't go that way anyway. Okay. That's just as well, because I'm sure that's the liquor hallway, and I really don't want to go in there yet. Actually, I don't remember that being upstairs, so... I may have my bearings slightly wrong there. It looks like I've got the casual costume. I don't know if I'd change into a, my cop outfit at some point. I wonder if there is any way I can look at that. Costume's been added. Here we go. Yeah, so you can change costume. Oh, he hasn't changed. Maybe he changes then at some point in the game. Because she did say at the beginning, you're a cop. If he had his outfit on, she, I'm sure she would have known that already. She's not stupid. Alright, so we've tried the spade door. I'm guessing. I can't open that, can I? No. Oh, I've got to get in here, haven't I? So I need a knife. Oh, well, I've got a feeling it's going to be through the shutter that lovingly says keep out. I think it might be worth a save before we venture into this area. i got a feeling this is no ink ribbons. I'm going to be saving repeatedly on this game. Yeah, I'll do that. Take a quick drink. I assure you that's only a cup of tea. That is not whiskey. <laughs> Although I feel like I need it going into this hallway. I swear. Anxiety is rising big time. Because I know it's going to be dark in here. And I'm going to have to crawl through a load of blood, no doubt. Yeah, look at that. Looks delightful, doesn't it? Oh dear. Steam rising up off the floor. <laughs> this does not look like a place you want to go. Oh, but I'm going to have to. Oh man. Yeah, this looks utterly terrifying. Need a fuse, of course. Classic Resident Evil. Oh dear. Please tell me it's not blood I'm sloshing around in. Oh, I can't really see. I'm not sure I really want to see, to be honest with you. I get a feeling that's going to be a zombie fest in there. Jeepers. <laughs> okay. There's a pair of shoes down there. That's just very bizarre. I have no items. Yeah, I think that room I've just walked past, if I remember from the orig original Resident Evil... Yeah, you got this, yeah. Keep you telling yourself that. Yeah, from the original Resident Evil 2, I'm pretty sure that's uh, got a lot of zombies in it. Oh, this is... Oh, I see. Quiet. <laughs> Don't attract them. Uh, is it worth going in here? I'll just keep going around for the time being. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a shadow. Oh, they're not dead. They are so not dead. Jesus. I 
don't know if see if I can shoot that off or not. I don't really want to. I could use this bullet. What do we think? Give it a try. No, okay. That's how you change weapons quickly anyway. Which one are you in? This one? Oh, here we go. I'll get you out. Oh, I think I know what happens here. I think I've, I think I've seen this. Oh dear. <laughs> it would have been so nice to have a friend. I might have half a friend in a minute. There we go. <laughs> there he is. Oh, that's pretty goddamn gross. Not really done a lot for my anxiety either, to be fair. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at the pretty drawings. Okay, that's... Goddess statue. Oh, that's the one with the medals. Okay, yep. It's showing us the three medals. Takes us underneath and through the parking lot. Yeah, I've seen the parking structure in the game earlier, but I'm pretty sure Claire was in there. So I think that's how she gets into the station, if I'm not wrong. Oh. God, this guy needed to learn to draw better. That's those symbols that were on that other statue. Um, I don't know. That might mean more to us later, I guess. Pretty sure he had a magazine in his hand, didn't he? I thought he had a magazine in his hand. Oh, for goodness me. Oh, there he is. Are you dead? Still not dead. Oh, what does it take to kill these buggers? Well, at least he's only got one leg. He might not be able to bother me too much. I want to kill him. I don't want to leave my life. Oh. I've got no bullets left. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, this is terrifying. This is just taking on a whole new level of terror now. Right, time to run. Oh, no, wrong turn. First aid spray, that's really helpful. They've got damn bullets when you need them. You're going to be a zombie out here. Oh yeah, <laughs> there he is. Oh, that's where I came in. Oh, no. I'm going around in circles. There must be a turn in. I'm getting lost completely. That's where I came in. Try and avoid him on the floor. Thank you. <laughs> Where the heck am I going? Oh, down this way. Yep. Oh, Jesus. They're everywhere. Oh, there's a... Thank God, there's bullets. Oh, this is really terrifying. <laughs> you know, there were times in Resident Evil games when you were safe when he came in these places. Oh, that's cool. Right, I've kneecapped them all now, so... I don't particularly want to leave them alive, but I'm hoping I can just get around them a little bit easier.
Don't know if I should be leaving yet, but... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Thank you. God, frickin' heck. Thanks for that, mate. Marvin. Thanks. Marvin Brown. Yes. Leon Kennedy. There was another off strike. I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Marvin is not in good shape. I'm sure, you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. He's got his outfit on now. I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Why would you want to be there sooner? Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Thanks for getting blood all over me, Book. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just going to leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Me. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> got a feeling I'm doing a lot of running with the bullets I got. Got any ammo for me? It's like a bad time to ask, I guess. You are suffering. Oh, it's the knife he gave me. Okay, I was wondering what he gave me. Okay. Put that in for now. Um, right. Well, that's going to help when I'm low on bullets. Right, what I will have to do is probably heal, actually, because I'm struggling myself. Um... Will a herb do it? I'll probably go with a spray for now. Because um, I can probably combine the herbs later. Where's the item box this way? Store that gun because I don't need that. This one. Oh no. I don't need to. No, I don't think I need to equip it like that. Okay. Save, but I'm going to do a second save just in case that one was rubbish because I did get hit twice. Coming up on 40 minutes of playtime, I think. So I'm going to play for about another 20. So I'll probably get through this way. I'll tell you what, if, I, if that's how I handle the zombies, I, I dread to think how I'm going to handle the liquors. I mean... Or any of the other creatures. <laughs> I'm guessing we're going to get the big ass spiders at some point later in the server. Yeah, tell me about it, Leon. Oh, nice bullets, thank you. Oh, yeah, 15 rounds in this gun, that's handy. Oh, this. See, this area is familiar if you remember playing the original game. I don't know whether to store some of my. If I venture any further, I'll store some of my health because I really want to be carrying all this stuff around with me. And I got that key from the garage, didn't I? So 
probably not going to need that. Can't examine things in this version. I don't really know what that key's for. I don't think... I don't know if I'm going to need it here or not. Because if I picked it up at the, the garage, why would I need it at the police station? I don't know. Well, for now we'll leave it. See, I'm sure in the original game you could open one of these desks. Now, this scares me because I know exactly what's down here. This is the liquor hallway. Now, I'm not sure there's a liquor down there straight away, but... I know there will be later in the game. Seen this in the trader as well. Oh, that is not pleasant. Huh? What? God. That's really charming. Please don't be a liquor. Oh no, look at those windows as well. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> It's a club door. Oh man, that made me jump. You ain't got anything on you, have you? No. You ain't even got a head. Oh, look at that. There's the scratch marks. If there is a liquor down here, I'm running. Just thought I'd make that perfectly clear. And I'm also staying away from the windows, because I remember that in the original game too. Oh, you're coming in at some point. I know that. I think you're already in the fucking building, actually. Oh, I heard zombie. <sighs> Turn into station into a temporary shelter due to massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make safety citizens' top priorities. We try and accommodate as many of them as possible. See, that's the mistake they made. They got this station packed full of potential zombies that's why I'm suffering now one of the refugees attacked in the middle of the night resulting in the death of one officer injuring three others there you go so there's three infect or four infected already first in question was quickly restrained we believe this is simply a case of someone snapping yeah okay whatever a mob attack station today resulted in a number of casualties few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters surrounded as we are it will be hard for any of us to escape this place I'm not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment so we remain cut off from the outside world. There was another clash on the west side of the station at 1pm. 12 people died. There's only a handful of survivors left. Everything's falling into disarray here. You know, shit, Sherlock. September 27th. Alright. Now I know there's a zombie in the building because I heard it come in. And should we wait it out? Really want to go out that door and be surprised. So what I will do, run past the fucking door for now. Excuse my language, but I'm getting slightly nervous. Alright, can I get around there? Yeah, I can. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, it's trying to get in. Let's get up here. Oh, balls. That did not go according to plan. Could attempt to sneak by, but no, he's going to turn around. Down you go, Chubsy. <laughs> That's my special task. Be glad you're not here, rookie, yeah. Okay, I've got one. I know exactly where I am now. This is the party room. 
This is this in the original game is where you find Marvin Branner. Oh, sh sugar. Okay. I've got one zombie in here. I could probably take him out. Isn't it? Oh, there's another one. Oh, that was a good one. I'm not 100% convinced that copper's dead yet. See if I can knife him. Now he's dead. <laughs> oh. Now. Let's go with Leo. <laughs> oh, well, my name's Lee. I <laughs> could go with that. That would have been so cool if that had opened. I wonder what Marvin's initials are. Something Branner. M E B. No. D B. Ah, oh, it was worth a try, wasn't it? Okay, for now we can't get in there. Now I don't know whether um zombies can actually Oh, there's two locks. Whether down zombies can get through doors or not, so I guess that's another worry. Let's have a look at this. Now just me and three others, no weapons, no ammo, too many skirmishes to join this mentally and physically, and we're not gonna make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over its museum days. Yeah, but we know what's down in the sewers if we've played this game before, and that's giant ass spiders, which is not good. Brush the idea off, but but now it's not sounding all that bad. No. Okay. Right. Have we got any more zombies in here? Hmm. Got another safe. There's a lot of stuff to unlock in this room. Unfortunately, no clues on how to do it. Jojo. I wonder if there's any clues on the. No, because that's that's the only one that's got a name on it. I can hear that zombie out there. I'd prefer it if he could. If he would come in here, really, because that could at least take him on. I guess there's no way to put Jojo in here, is there? No. Okay, I thought I was worth a check. Just wondering why the Jojo was the only name you could see. But... Right, I think I've explored everything in here now, which unfortunately means I have to go out here. See, could be the worst thing I could have done putting that zombie on the floor, because if he can't get in, and he's probably waiting for me out there on the floor. Oh, he's down there. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's up. Oh, come on, then. In you come. Yep, there he comes. See, because at least I can run him round the table here. Ow. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, damn it. Asshole. <laughs> Leon. No need for that. Right, I'm gonna finish you off the knife. Son of a <sighs> Oh, he's still not dead. Oh, are you flipping kidding me? Shit! Man, I must look like a right psychopath, but I ain't taking no chances. Did I see something on the door there? Is that thing still on the floor, Abby? Yeah, he is. Oh, for the love of. How am I going to kill him? 
I'm going to have to just go for it, I suppose. Um, run, 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 run. You dismember them with a knife as well. Wow, that's quite vicious, but. Um, just realised. How loaded is my gun? Nine bullets. Oh. Man, this is not good. I don't really want to have to go slashing at more with knives, but. No, can't get in there. I heard a zombie. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, that was handy. He had bullets on him. Right. Now, I don't think I can get back up there. So, I'm guessing the zombie's going to burst out of that door because I don't see another way around. Oh, okay. There we go. This will be the way around then. No oh, more zombies at the window. Now I think, hopefully before he comes through the door. Now can I use them then? Relief. Let's take that. Now this should be the dark room if I know if I know my Resident Evil. Yeah, there it is. The item chest in here. I'll store that. I'm gonna store the gunpowder. I guess this could be a good time to leave the first playthrough because let's see what we got in here first. More gunpowder. More bullets, thank the Lord. And one note here as well. Medical benefits of herbs or medicinal. Humans use herbs to treat and sickness and disease since the dawn of time. This book will explore three such herb and items native to the Arclay Mountains. I'm not going to read it all. Yeah, we know all that. As veterans. Combining herbs. Anyone who's played Resident Evil before, you know about combining herbs, don't you? So we don't really need to read this in too great a detail. I'll let you read that yourself. Okay. All right. Just check the dark room before we go. Uh, how do we go yet? Yeah. Wow. Room with a light. <laughs> Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Okay. That's a red herb. Oh, it doesn't look red. It looks more like purple, doesn't it? Okay, I might combine that with a green. What do I combine that with then? Oh, maybe it's just telling me I can combine these. Thank you. Love popping trophies. Yeah, later on in the game, again, if it's the same as the original version, you'll get films, you'll find films with clues to the backstory and stuff, uh, which you can develop in this dark room. Obviously, I don't really need to do that now. Let's pop, pop this spray away, I think. Um, what's the other? I don't think you can combine gunpowder with gunpowder. If it's the same as number seven, you need a chemical fluid to combine. But I'll have a look. 
Well, you can. But we won't do that for now, in case I need a single gunpowder for something. Store those. Bullets, herb, knife. Okay, that's it. And the knives do wear out, apparently. You can see that in the inventory there. The knife looks like it's only got half its uh, bar there. See that down the bottom? think, from what I've heard, they break. So... You might have to find multiples of it, which is going to be annoying if I find a lockbox with no knife. Right. Well, it's been, by my calculations, just over 50 minutes. So I'm going to save here. I think I'll go with a, a new save, just to be on the safe side. Right. I'm going to end the video there. This one. This is for part one. Um, according to that, I've been playing for 38 minutes 20, but obviously there was the intro and everything else before we started the gameplay. So I think it's been about 50 minutes or so. I'm going to rush around, try and get this video up um, in the next couple of hours, and then I'm going to play for another hour today and hopefully get that up also later in the day. So if you're watching this video around about 1, 2 o'clock GMT, so about 7 o'clock East Coast America, that sort of time, uh, there should be another one up later on say it'll be about 7 p.m uk time um possibly around about midnight oh, sorry not midnight um two in the afternoon or so uh american time so i'm hoping to get two episodes up today it's the ambition anyway um it may be overly ambitious we'll see um, and hope you've enjoyed watching uh this big scaredy cat play resident <laughs> evil 2 there was a few um scares along the way a little apology for the language but you know it's it's a Resident Evil game. It makes you jump. It makes you scared. It gets your adrenaline going. So, you know, unfortunately, sometimes you can't help but blurt out a few swear words here and there. So hope that doesn't detract from you watching the video. OK, join me for the next part. And I'm sure I'm going to get even more scared because I'm pretty sure there's a liquor coming up soon. And the first time I see one of those things, I can't even tell you what my reaction is going to be. So you'll have to tune in to find out. But I would say that a girly scream is not beyond the realms of possibility, you know, so just hang on in there if you want to see someone get really scared, you're about to see it, I'm sure. Thanks guys, take care, uh, thanks for watching my video, hope you subscribe to my channel if you're new, and uh, if you're already a subscriber, thank you for being one, and love you all to bits, and I shall get you another video up hopefully today. Thanks guys, take care, speak to you soon, bye for now.